am the secretary of office of Google Group. Uh, I am in Wipro for the last uh, uh, six years. Um, so in that role, I am accountable for uh, the information assurance uh, for the company uh, uh, across the group, wherever the company operates. The security function or the security role in, a com uh, in any company is to provide the assurance to its constituents that your security or your information is secure, your environment which you work is secure. So it is an overall responsibility of providing information assurance to everybody, all your constituents. Uh, so that has various divisions under that. It can be information protection, it can be cyber defense, governance risk and compliance, investigation. So it contains a lot of pillars under that. But it is overall what we are trying to achieve is that company is secure, the information which it holds is, is uh, secure. Uh, so so that, that is the role of a, a security function in any organization. See, in the way the world we operate, uh, uh, we don't have an insider who has malicious intent. So what we are seeing is that the er errors, omissions, oversights are creating problems. So it is not, because in the current world, when we are highly dependent on technology and where it is interconnected, everything happening, a minor mistake can create a large impact in the organization. So it is bound to happen. Okay. So it is not that the uh, people uh, are stupid or they are doing deliberately. It, it is because it's a large volume of activity we are doing. Minor configuration changes can create a problem. If you look at to secure a, a cloud environment, you may have a 300 plus configurations. In one of these configurations, getting loose also can create a problem. So it is more of an oversight and error coming out and I don't believe that it is in any way an employee's malicious intent behind it. And we are all working out and creating the awareness or building a security culture in the organization to overcome that. Like artificial intelligence, machine learning, all of this in helping the business and the environment to, to, to mature itself, it is also providing a lot of help to the CISO organization. Considering the large volume of data getting generated mm -hmm. and the time by which we need to respond to and that in a consistent manner, it is essential to use all these technologies together. So that will help us to respond back and understand a behavior change or a pattern which is emerging out on a very quick manner. And then the, the SMEs come into picture to revalidate it. So while all of this is running, there is brains behind it. Uh, of individuals who is fine tuning it to make it to the next level. Yeah. This is actually providing us a lot of insights which can which are actionable intelligence for us. Yeah. So I don't think it will replace a CISO or replace anything, but it will make them more 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 and more effective. So we are doing a lot. It's a continuous journey we are we're also taking it. Mm -hmm. We are leveraging artificial intelligence big data in a big manner. We are deployed a lot of bots. These are all complementing our effort and make giving us a lot of insights. Like a threat intel. Earlier we were working on a more reactive manner. Now we are, uh, so the reactive is always has some damage or we need a large set of people. Now the advantage is with all these technologies, we have proactive understanding of things and a threat intel is coming out where we can do things much before an event has actually been occurred. So that is helping us a lot and we are loving it because it surely changed the way we work. But now we are more confidently working because we have a lot of insights to work. Okay. We, we have, uh, uh, or I have an excellent team with me and they are very, very innovative. They are continuously working with me to make things into a new generation. This also depends on the maturity of the organization where when you have a backing of the management to take the current process to the next level, you can always do that. See, what we are working on is a uh, few things. Uh, the first uh, pattern we applied was on, can we have a 360 degree perspective when we are doing a risk assessment? Because the security's underlying thing is anticipating and working on potential risk. Whether it can be a technology risk, it can be an information risk. So we and then we understood the traditional ma uh, method of looking at it from one perspective may not be looking. So we are looking at all the 360 perspectives, and we are improving that from on our day-to-day -day operations to see what are the potential risk we need to anticipate. Because considering the changes in the environment, we need to more on that. Then we done uh, another one, which is more into uh, looking at saying that self-healing environment. 
and the third one we were working very aggressively was on predictiveness of a phishing campaign happening or an attack happening on that currently these are all in upload stage and uh, it takes its own course of time to get awarded awesome. uh, lucky and privileged to be uh, part of rsr conference program committee for some period of time for the asia and rsa conference if you look at it, it's been there for many many years and they have matured its own thing and it's a global conference there every uh, participant or the presenter goes through a lot of screening and rsa conference doesn't decide who are the speakers or except the keynotes all others are based on in the uh, the papers you submit and that papers go through a lot of scrutiny and then out of a 150 submission happening you may have seven coming out in each of this track and that is in asia in us it may be 500 uh, submissions and, and one or two papers coming out so you have the luxury of thousands of people applying because it's a most prestigious place where people want to present and i was lucky presenting in abu dhabi and uh, singapore conference uh, apart from my role as a program committee i could uh, present also but each of your paper goes to a lot of innovative uh, they have a lot of criteria to go there when coming to india our conferences are quite mature if you look at the cocoon conference or the null conference they all have a different themes null conference is very very techy oriented you see amazing set of people coming out and and talking about next generation uh, on, on securities uh, when it comes to the cocoon you see much more mature perspective from uh, law enforcement bodies and those type of things so every place they have taken their own themes but rsa is much larger each of this has been accommodated because of friday conference uh, and multiple tracks run uh, typically my understanding in us rsa around 55000 people attend and in rsa singapore around 5000 people attend or, or more than that so there that is a event of a week okay so i don't think we are lacking in anything on that only thing is with one or two days of conference we are doing our best and it will much and we have seen every year it it, it improves itself security is a wonderful domain to work on a great career the only thing is you need to be very clear if you become a server administrator or a network guy or a developer once you are a master you are always a master but when it comes to security every day is a learning for you you have to put a lot of homework to sustain in your market because other places you learn new new certificate or new things to improve your career level here it is for survival you need to read a lot and it is a great domain to be i have i am full time i am in security for the last 18 years mm. out of my 23 years of it career 2018 is dedicated to security so it's a great career let us all work together to make a secure world